Hey everyone, Andy here in our Able City Los Angeles Theater, and today I'm checking out the Alexa XT. Uh, this is their latest in the line of Alexa cameras, and the XT series of cameras, which includes this Alexa Classic, uh, the Plus, the Studio, and the M, uh, all have now the ability to not only record to S by S cards, uh, but also to record to new Coast, uh, Codex high speed magazines. On the side here, where you normally would find an S by S module, now I have a Codex module or an XT module. Uh, what this is going to let me do is record these high speed ma magazines, uh, which you can see here. I'll go ahead and eject it. Here's the high speed magazine from Codex. It's a, a rated SSD, which is a great option to have because uh, that, that enables me to not only record ProRes or DNX, but also to record Airy RAW internally. A great option. Um, you can, you know, by the way, you can still use S by S cards via an adapter to that same slot, so S by S is still viable. But that new option means a lot of things for the camera. Namely, uh, I can record Airy RAW, and also because it's a higher speed magazine, I can record all the various frame rates that I had in the previous versions of the Alexa, as in up to 120 frames per second in ProRes, or even up to 120 frames per second in Airy RAW, in the 60 by 9 mode anyway. I get up to 120 frames Airy RAW, very nice, which it was never even a possibility at all before in the previous version of the Alexa. And 60 by 9 mode, I have 120, and 4 by 3 I have about 48 frames a second. Again, uh, fantastic option to have inside the camera now. Uh, that's the, the Codex magazine adds all that. Now, otherwise, the camera menus, etc., are pretty much the same. This is the Plus camera, uh, which adds has the uh, remote control options, extra outputs, etc., and wireless control of motors. This is a great uh, body. Basically what you've seen in the previous Plus versions is still here. Additional thing we have up here is the, the new uh, VMB3, which is a new viewfinder mounting bracket system, which has a new sliding system on it. So you can release this and slide it forward or back, which is a welcome change to the previous design. And it's a solid uh, system, very, very high quality. And I even have a new uh, extension bracket, VEB, Three, which is a new system for putting the viewfinder further away. Uh, this is actually available for any of the Alexa cameras now, so you can upgrade to that if you if you choose to do so. And it is definitely a very high quality piece of gear, so I recommend it. Uh, we also have in the XT, though, specifically to the XT, is a new PL adapter, which has space behind the lens for an ND filter. So I have an ND filter here. You can see uh, this is a little ND filter system you can purchase for the, any of the XT cameras and. Here it is, the little ND filter. Put it right there. And it goes inside behind the lens. This is an IRND, which means you can put in any number. They have the sets come with many different variations and put it right behind there, which means you don't have the same problems that you would you, know, you could possibly have with a ND in the map box, you know, ghosting, uh, reflections, etc. So it's a very nice option. Comes with a little tool to insert it. So there you go. That's an option for all the XT cameras. Um, so that's pretty much all the external differences that you see here. And the menus, well, we're basically the same. There, it keeps it very simple, which is a great thing. Go in the menu. For instance, though, the big, to see the big difference into the recording menu here. And we go into the internal mode now, no longer S by S. And the big thing here is that now we can record either ProRes, DNX HD, or Airy Raw. I turn Airy Raw on, got Airy Raw onto the Codex magazine, which is a great thing. Uh, go to ProRes, now it's just a big ProRes S by S card in a way. Well, not S by S card, but a big ProRes storage device, right? So either way, I can work. Uh, you can't put ProRes or DNX on the same for, uh, magazine as the raw data. It's got to be formatted one way or the other. But again, still a very nice option to have. So uh, this is a huge thing. Uh, the, Codex, the, uh, the Codex system is very interesting uh, and worth investigating. So I'm going to do another video coming up here on the workflow using uh, the new Codex magazines, both for simple ProRes recording and for uh, the area raw recording with this thing called the virtual file system. So stay tuned for that and see you next time.